Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you how to put a Google Map on a Paper Vision primitive. And you can see right here I have a primitive, a spherical one, and I have a Google Map right on it. And you can actually change the uh, views from the overlay, so that's it, satellite. And there's a satellite view, and you can just scroll along here and scroll your satellite. Or a hybrid view, so you can see the streets and the satellite view. And if you just double click on the primitive, it actually uh, zooms in. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. And we've actually gone beyond this and built a Wii controlled application where you can switch between any primitive that you want. We're actually switching between a sphere and a plane. And believe it or not, the hotspots are active as well. So about a year ago, I actually did a number of Yahoo Map API uh, tutorials and worked with the Yahoo Map API quite a bit. Uh, the Google Map API is here. It's very exciting that it is. And a number of problems I seem to be having with the Yahoo API seems to be cleared up with the Google API. And in future tutorials, we'll be telling you how to use this and work with it. It actually is extremely easy and it works very well with Paper Vision. Let's go to the code. Okay, let's take a look and see how this was made. Now, putting a Google Map on a Paper Vision primitive is extremely easy. All you need to do is turn the map into a movie using the Movie Material class and then place it on a primitive. That's all there is to it and you can do it in only just six lines of code. So here's the code right here. Basically you just want to do a rectangular fill and then an applications dot application dot map and then a material where you put that movie on a material and then place that material on a sphere. Now we use a sphere in this instance but you can actually use any primitive. We have an application where you use uh, basically a sphere and a plane. We switch between the two but for this example a sphere is quite good and I talk a little bit in my blog about uh, the open source movement which I'm very much involved with if you go to my blog real quick uh, www.professionalpapervision.wordpress.com you can read all about this it's Google map on paper vision primitive and just six lines of code and those six lines you just saw and after I discuss about open source just a little bit, I specifically start getting into the application and how it was built. Now, one of the most important blog posts you could read is Pathfinder Development by, by Sasha Delsevic. This does a tremendous job with uh, Yahoo Maps. Now, we had worked with Yahoo Maps quite a bit, as I mentioned earlier, last year, and now we're looking at Google Maps. That seems to really solve many of our problems. Let's go to uh, the Pathfinder uh, article real quick and show that to you. And here's the Pathfinder blog, Tech Development, and you can see here's his Google Map. It's on a plane. We also have a similar application. We have one on a plane, but we're not going to show that today. And uh, he does quite a bit of coding to get there, and you're going to find out you really don't need all this coding with the Google Map API. It's really just those six lines of code that I showed earlier, and following in the, the same technique that the way he treats his display object. If you follow that same approach of treating this display object the way he does, then what you'll actually get is you'll get a clickable map with panning and actually interaction with the markers and that's super cool this is an error application which you can download from flex 3 cookbook 2googlecodecom slash file slash google maps dot zip and uh, with that let's just talk a little bit about the code and how to get started with google maps it's really simple it's a flash api very easy to use you want to go to the google flash api site so i'll click on that and take you there right now so we're looking at the Google Map API for Flash, and it works really great with Flex. And the first thing you want to do is pretty much just follow the example. Sign up for a Google Maps key. You're going to need that in the application. And then download the SDK. And once you have that, you just place that in your library files in Flex, and you start looking at the tons of examples they have. And this is really one of the pluses over Yahoo Maps. Yahoo Maps have a few examples. Google Maps just have tons and tons of examples with tons of code given away and a whole tutorial series. I would just click on that tutorial series once you've gotten your key and downloaded your SDK and just start going through the examples. And we'll look at the first example real quick, show you how to get set up on a project, and then we'll immediately move to our code and talk about how we created the uh, Paper Vision API. So if you have problems finding the Google Maps API for Flash, just go into Google and in the search engine type Google Map API for Flash, and this page will come up right here. And it just has a great tutorial series where it starts with uh, the Flex SDK, the basics, events, controls, overlays, services, and API reference. Let's take a look at basics real quick and get you started. So when you click on that, you just uh, scroll down and they just give a little example. They talk about the code. They show the code example. They give you an example to view. And here's basically just setting up a map with multiple markers. And then from there, let's we'll go back. You can click below that on view source. 
And when you do, there's all the, the flex source on Google Code. So I'm just going to copy this and put it right into Flex, and let's see if it runs. So we're in Adobe Flex right now, and what we're going to want to do is start a new project and put this code that we've got right into it. And we're going to go New, Flex Project, and we'll just type it. Make sure you select it Web Application, and we'll just put Test Project. Okay, and hit Finish. And we want to make sure that in that test project, so just replace your Flex project with the code that you copied from the Google site. And we'll go ahead and do that right now. And there's a Google code right there. Now, it's not going to run when you run it. Why? Because you need to make sure that you have the basically the Google API in your library file. So once you've pasted that code from Google into your Flex project, it's not going to run because you need to grab that Flash API, that Google Flash API, and put it into the libraries folder. And I've got that copied into my clipboard, so let's go ahead and paste that. And if I open my libraries folder, I know that there they are. And so the great thing about the libraries folder is you just throw your SWIC files in there. They don't need to be linked. Flex immediately picks them up from the library. So I have everything we need. Let's double click on that and let's run this program and see what happens. And there you have it. There's my Google Map running in Flex. It's just that easy to work with the maps and the markers are there as well. What I want you to do is basically to get started, continue through all the tutorial series that you find on the Google Code site. And pretty much that's all there is to it. Make sure, of course, that you uh, go and apply for that code, key code, because you're going to need that. Uh, if you run these uh, from the Google key code, that'll be fine. But if you try to run them from the web, you're going to need that key code for your website. So go get the key code, put the right key code in there, and you're ready to work with both Flex and Air in creating a Google Maps. Let's go back to the discussion, and let's talk a little bit more about how this was created. So basically, once I created my Air application, I had to put my key code in, and I had to put the website that I was going to go to. This is a Windows application, or it's basically a Air application. And it's going to need that URL in order for the key to work. So it's going to look at your key and it's going to confirm it with the URL. And then your error application will work. And then you have all these import statements. So you have your Google Map import statements, which are pretty standard. Then you have your Paper Vision import statements, which are pretty standard. And then you have some Flash import statements. And don't forget the MX Core application. That's how you're going to build that Flash movie. We have basically declare the viewport, the scene, the camera, the render, and the sphere uh, primitive, which is pretty standard to uh, Paper Vision. We're going to create a movie clip. We're going to create a movie parent. You're going to create a material from the movie material class and a primitive container. And then here's your on map ready, which is the Google uh, application uh, starter that creates your map. And there's my lat long coordinates. And this basically right here, bottom right, that sets the control for the map selection. Where you had the satellite map selection, you had the road map selection, puts it on the upper puts puts it on the upper left hand of the screen once you have your control position and your map created then you want to initialize paper vision and of course in flex you see we're using that a container canvas container in that raw child add child viewport create your scene add the primitive container uh, create your movie and your movie graphics add your material to your uh, sphere and then add that to the primitive container and you're pretty much ready to go last thing you need to do is add a listener frame and from your on render frame, you basically render through the scene camera viewport, which is so typical for a paper vision application. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you go to the design view, all you have in design view is basically a canvas that you throw the map in on the stage. Isn't that pretty cool? That's all there is to it. Let's run this application one more time since it's just so cool. So here's our application. And when you scroll on here, you can see that moves as well. And you can change from map to satellite to hybrid. Very, very cool application. And uh hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let's take you one more time to the Google site. Make sure you have the address so you can get started. So you can see that address is code.google.com forward slash APIS slash map slash documentation slash flash. If you forget how to get there, just go to the Google search engine and type in Google Maps API for Flash. And follow the directions here to get started. And then just go through the wonderful tutorial series and just uh, go through the many examples. And when you're done with the tutorial series, go through the demos. They're just... There are tons of demos that you can see and go through. And when you're done with the demos, hey, take a look at my paper vision code. Download that from my uh, Google code. It's all free. And make sure you visit my blog to get more details on this uh, demonstration. Thanks a lot. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.